Understanding Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere and evaluating its potential for life is a monumental challenge. One of the key difficulties lies in distinguishing between atmospheric gases produced by biological processes and those originating from non-biological sources like volcanic eruptions. To ensure accuracy, astronomers must carefully differentiate between signs of life and naturally occurring geological activity. The search for authenticity in these signals is what drives the next phase of exoplanetary research. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its remarkable capabilities, offers a glimpse into a future rich with scientific breakthroughs. Each new image and dataset hints at revelations that could forever change how we view the universe. As our tools improve and our reach extends deeper into space, humanity is becoming more prepared to understand the intricate workings of the cosmos, and our potential place within it. Despite years of intense exploration, we have yet to find definitive evidence of life elsewhere. No planet discovered so far has proven to harbor life. Still, the mission presses on. The question, are we alone in the universe? Asterisk has fascinated humanity for centuries. Even today, as technology leaps forward, we continue searching for answers. Some even speculate that intelligent civilizations may already be out there, waiting to be discovered. To advance this goal, American astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson co-founded the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984. This initiative, run by the nonprofit SETI Institute, is dedicated to detecting signals from intelligent beings beyond Earth. It primarily focuses on radio waves, which have the unique ability to travel enormous cosmic distances with minimal distortion. This makes them ideal for interstellar communication. At the heart of the effort is the Allen Telescope Array, a network of 42 radio dishes nestled in California's Cascade Mountains. For over 30 years, SETI has been listening carefully for alien transmissions, yet none have been conclusively detected. Still, Jill Tarter remains hopeful, envisioning a future where ordinary people can actively contribute to the search for extraterrestrial life. And then came a breakthrough that reignited the scientific community's hopes. Recent reports from NASA revealed something truly extraordinary. The James Webb Space Telescope had detected mysterious lights, urban-like illuminations, from a planet close to our solar system. That planet was Proxima Centauri b. Launched in December 2020, the JWST is the most advanced space observatory humanity has ever built. Using its powerful infrared vision, it can pierce through clouds of dust and capture the faintest glows from the farthest corners of the universe. This $10 billion marvel of engineering is equipped with cutting-edge tools, including a near-infrared camera, a near-infrared spectrograph, a mid-infrared instrument, and a precision guidance sensor that ensures pinpoint accuracy. Its iconic 18-segmented mirror is designed to function at extremely low temperatures, allowing it to pick up thermal signatures and faint light from even the most distant celestial bodies. Since becoming operational, the JWST has delivered one stunning image after another, revealing ancient galaxies, newly forming stars, and atmospheric details of distant exoplanets. But perhaps nothing has captivated the scientific community quite like the strange glow seen from Proxima Centauri b. This glow appears to resemble structured, city-like lighting, something never before recorded at such a cosmic scale. Could it be proof of extraterrestrial civilizations? Scientists are now carefully analyzing the data to determine whether these lights are artificial in nature. If these glowing patterns truly are artificial, they could indicate the presence of intelligent life, perhaps even a technologically advanced society capable of illuminating its night side, just as humans do on Earth. Some experts speculate this might be due to engineered infrastructure, such as power grids or energy-efficient lighting systems. Others even suggest bioluminescent life forms might be responsible, emitting light as part of a survival mechanism in a dark environment. Still, there's another possibility, that the urban-like illumination is simply a natural phenomenon yet to be understood. Some scientists propose that the glow could be the result of atmospheric interactions unique to Proxima Centauri b. Given the planet's intense and fluctuating climate, magnetic fields, and potential radiation belts, 
The light could be caused by reactions between stellar winds and chemical elements in the atmosphere. The truth remains unclear, and that's why further investigation is essential. One key focus of upcoming studies will be to monitor whether these lights change over time. If they follow predictable cycles, like power usage during day and night, or variations tied to seasonal patterns, it could indicate deliberate control, suggesting intelligent design. On the other hand, random or chaotic fluctuations may point to natural sources. Fortunately, the James Webb Space Telescope is perfectly suited to observe these changes. With its ability to maintain long-term, detailed monitoring of distant worlds, it will gather critical data to help scientists determine if the lights are steady or if they fluctuate in a way that hints at advanced technology. Extended observation will also allow researchers to determine if the emissions align with any known phenomena or if they deviate in ways that imply something entirely new. Whether natural or artificial, these illuminations represent a mystery that could redefine our understanding of life beyond Earth. For now, all possibilities remain on the table. The James Webb Space Telescope stands at the forefront of this unprecedented moment. Its discoveries have pushed the boundaries of what we believed was possible. And with each new observation, we come a step closer to answering the greatest question humanity has ever asked. Are we truly alone in the universe? Stay with Wave's discovery as we continue to follow this journey of wonder and revelation. The cosmos is speaking, we're finally learning how to listen.